Huawei's Harmony OS is gunning for one-third of the global market share, aiming to shatter the Android iOS duopoly. That's right, Huawei's not just back. They're swinging for the fences with a bold plan to redefine how we use our phones, tablets, and even smart TVs. Can they pull it off? Stick with me, because this video is your all-access pass to Huawei's epic comeback and the future of mobile tech. All right, let's dive into the details. Huawei's been through the ringer, hit hard by US sanctions that cut them off from Google's Android ecosystem. But instead of folding, they built Harmony OS from the ground up. Now they're setting their sights on a massive goal, capturing 33% of the global smartphone OS market, thanks to a recent CCTV interview with Huawei's chairman, Richard Yu, we've got the inside scoop on how they plan to take on Android and iOS. Let's break it down, step by step. First up, the big news. Richard Yu, the chairman of Huawei's consumer business, dropped a bombshell. Harmony OS is targeting one-third of the global smartphone OS market. That's a huge leap for an OS that started as a side project for smart TVs back in 2019. Today, it's powering over 1 billion devices worldwide, from smartphones to tablets, wearables, and even PCs. Huawei's already hit 120 million installations of Harmony OS 5.0 in just months, with 20 million added in under a month. That's what Yu calls Harmony OS speed, and it's a sign they're not messing around. This isn't just about numbers, it's about breaking the Android iOS stranglehold. For years, Google and Apple have dominated, with Android at 74% and iOS at 22% of the global market in Q4 2024. Harmony OS? It's already at 4% globally, and a whopping 19% in China, beating iOS's 17%. Huawei's not just playing catch-up, they're aiming to rewrite the rules. Now, let's talk about how Huawei got here. Back in 2019, US sanctions slammed Huawei, cutting them off from Google's apps and services. It was a gut punch. Huawei's global smartphone sales tanked and they had to rethink everything. So they built Harmony OS starting with IoT devices like smart TVs. Early versions leaned on Android's open source code, but with Harmony OS Next, they said see it to Android completely. This is a fully independent OS built on Huawei's own microkernel, designed to be fast, secure, and ready for anything. Yu says building Harmony OS from scratch was tough. Getting to 10 million users felt like climbing a mountain, but they hit that mark in record time thanks to loyal fans in China. Now they're aiming for tens of millions more, and they're spending big, billions of yuan to make it happen, with incentives like red envelopes and 1,000 CNY gifts to hook new users. That's the kind of hustle that's got Harmony US powering ahead. So what makes Harmony US so special? It's not just another OS, it's a full ecosystem. Harmony OS runs on everything, phones, tablets, smart TVs, watches, and even your car's dashboard. Its microkernel design is super lightweight, letting it adapt to devices with as little as 128 kilobytes of memory or as much as 128 megabytes. Plus, it's got this cool feature called D-Softbus that turns your devices into a super device, letting your phone control your TV or share data with your tablet like it's no big deal. And let's talk about smarts and safety. Harmony OS Next brings AI features that make your phone feel like a personal assistant. Think smarter photo editing or real-time translations. Its Star Shield security locks down your data, so apps only get what they need, and permissions reset after use. You says Android's stuck with outdated architecture, but Harmony OS is built fresh, ready for the future with no baggage. Oh, and it's 30% smoother than older versions and saves 56 minutes of battery life. But here's where things get tricky. Apps. Harmony OS Next doesn't run Android apps natively, which is a bold move. Huawei's built over 30,000 native apps for their app gallery, with big names like WeChat and Alipay already on board. They're investing 10 billion yuan a year to get developers on board, training 100,000 a month, and they've got 8 million developers in the ecosystem. That's huge, but it's still a far cry from the millions of apps on Google Play or the App Store. In China, this isn't a big deal. Most top apps are already native, and Huawei's got 900 million devices running Harmony OS. But globally, that's tougher. Without Google apps like YouTube or Gmail, convincing users outside China to switch is a hard sell. 
Posts on X show excitement for Harmony OS in places like Africa and Europe, but there's skepticism too. Some users say the app gallery feels bare, and Harmony OS owns in China come loaded with ads. Huawei's gotta nail the app game to hit that 33% global share. So can Huawei really break the Android iOS duopoly? In China, they're already a powerhouse. Harmony OS hit 19% market share in Q4 2024, beating iOS, and Huawei smartphone sales surged 15.5% thanks to hits like the Mate 70 and Nova 13. Government subsidies like 500 yuan rebates on phones under 6,000 yuan are fueling this growth, and Chinese consumers are all in on homegrown tech. Globally, it's a different story. Harmony OS is at 4% worldwide, and US sanctions make expansion tricky. But Huawei's not backing down. They're eyeing markets like Africa, Southeast Asia, and Europe where their Mate 70 series could make waves. Yu says they want Harmony OS on devices beyond Huawei. Think other brands adopting it like Android. If they pull this off, that one-third goal isn't just a dream, it's a revolution. And with Harmony OS 6.0 and new chips like the 5 nanometer Kirin coming in 2026, Huawei's ready to fight. Let's keep it real. Huawei's got hurdles. The app ecosystem needs work, and global users want Google Apps. Plus, Harmony OS's developer SDK is tough to access outside China, requiring strict registration tied to Chinese authorities. And then there's the competition. Apple's iOS 19 and Google's Android 16 are dropping in 2025, packed with AI and new features. Qualcomm's Snapdragon Summit on September 23, 2025, will showcase chips like the 8 Elite 2 powering Android flagships. Huawei's 5 nanometer Kirin chips are impressive, but they're a step behind 3 nanometer tech from TSMC. Still, Huawei's got a shot. Their focus on cross-device connectivity, AI, and security set them apart. And with China's push for tech independence, Harmony OS has a massive home field advantage. If they can scale their app ecosystem and go global, that 33 goal might just be within reach. That's the full scoop on Huawei's Harmony OS and their bold plan to grab one-third of the global market. From 120 million users to a thriving ecosystem, Huawei's making waves. But can they take on Android and iOS worldwide? What do you think? Will Harmony OS become your next OS, or are you sticking with the duopoly? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and let's get this tech talk rolling. For more leaks, specs, and tech news, hit that like button, subscribe, and tap the bell so you don't miss a thing. This is your go-to source for all things tech. Until next time, stay plugged in.